because I dislike all three of these equally, I will bring it to which one I would least like to eat. And for that, Jordy, I don't know what's in that pot. So my vote is for Jordy. All right, artists, this is your last chance to avoid elimination. You have six hours to do a patriotic tattoo, and your time starts now. I've never tattooed a bell before or anything that was supposed to have a reflective surface and a wood grain at the same time. How are you going to change up like the metals and the woods on this side? Simulating wood is easy. It's getting something to look round. shiny and round is hard. I have a chance to redeem myself. If they think I'm going to back down because I don't have the most experience, they have another thing coming. I did come in this competition running my mouth a lot. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop, but this tattoo, it has to match the level of shit that I've been talking. How big is that tattoo? That's huge. My god. More to judge, more to up. I see things going south from here, man. I'm goddamn tickled pink. I went with an American traditional tattoo because it's patriotic. If you see anything that can use cleaning up and you feel confident then you can hit it without causing trauma, then do it. I am a team player, and Jimmy quarterbacked. He gave me a play, and I ran with it. Teamwork makes the, makes dream, the dream work. Makes the dream work, that's right. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, machine's down. No more ink. Oh, I just got done. Damn, dude, that's awesome. Oh, man. He killed it. Yeah. That's a badass. Good enough to keep me from the bottom? Oh, I would imagine that's good enough to shoot you up to the top. The second you think you know what's happening on Ink Master, you don't know anything at all. Today, you had to face off for your survival creating patriotic tattoos. Based solely on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Emac, you're next. Simple and clean. The area that's filled in black seems very solid black, but literally, this is a one hour max tattoo. My job is not to look at how long something takes you. I think you do something here to put up the best fight you can. I'm not going to go down without a fight, so let's go. I like it. Thank you. Nichelle. It definitely has an unfinished feel to it. Pretty much nowhere in the tattoo you have any really rich, solid black. The only place that you did put it was behind your image. If your background richness was in the bell, it would look completely different. Best way to show light is with black. Oh, I'm about to piss on Jason, you're next. The way this thing's color, man, I just have a lot of problems with it. The brown's not solid. Your yellow's not up to the line. Your red's not up to the line. If you're going to do these solid fields of color, they need to be solid to the line. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. Jason has the most problems, technically. I can't back that vote. I would argue that there are some tattoos out there that aren't even competitive. Did Emac just play smart and yeah. clean? For me, I think that Nichelle struggled, fundamentally speaking. Jason's outline versus Nichelle's. Jason's saturation versus Nichelle's. I know where I messed up, but I do have the technical skill not to throw you under the bus, bro. But it took your whole team to help you pull three arrows. The Are you going to be you able to tattoo the, you the rest it? of the competition like that? Not. I'm a better, I'm fundamentally. You may be, but you wasn't on this tattoo. I'm not going home. I go back and forth and I gotta fall down on Nichelle. The judges have decided, Nichelle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Wow. Today, it's, it's the way it fell, and I think you just got the jitters. Please pack your machines and head out. I've gotten to where I am in life because I listened to my gut, and I didn't do that while I was here. Thank you. So when I go back home, I'm just gonna trust myself like I always have. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna kill it. Today, you must tattoo. Here it comes. A compass rose. Oh, shit. Really? A lot of circles, a lot of tie lines. Yeah. It's just a nightmare. Unlike a vintage map, the compass rose is the part that shows you which way is north, south, east, and west. It always consists of straight lines and circles every single time. There's going to be a lot of ups. This is to see who's a technician and who's not. Straight lines, good circles, smooth shading. It's the fundamentals. Just keep it super clean. American traditional, that should be fun. Have you ever done American traditional? Yeah. I actually did it last week. Oh, wow. So, OK, so you've yeah. had practice. <laughs> you can have a seat. I'd rather not do American traditional, but if that's what she wants, that's cool. You don't think the ship's going to look crooked, right? 
Don't want to tell if like it's falling over. The ship is like this is because it's moving, moving forward. It's on the water. It's actually going somewhere. I'm afraid she's going to leave. I need to stay in this competition. It still looks to me like the ship is crooked. <sighs> Three hours to go, guys. Three hours to go. Now. I think it looks great. OK, cool. <laughs> I have the biggest tattoo in the room. Time is not what I have right now. Oh, gosh. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All I need is you to work with me, and I'll work with you. Did I move? That's all right. It's nothing I can't fix. It's tough staying still. Going good so far. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly never thought that I would be a tattoo artist. I kind of think that, like, when you get tattooed by someone, you kind of, like, take on a little bit of their energy. I spent about 10 years as an oil painter. You can make great work, and maybe nobody gives a f I love tattooing so much. I get to work with people every single day and create things that change their lives, and that's just really fulfilling for me. I'm about to start my red. Yeah, get in there. I'm worried about you. <sighs> I'm worried, too. I don't think he has time to be walking around right now. You got to finish. Otherwise, you're out automatically, pretty much. There's a line that came a little off. I can't fix that line unless I bold the whole thing. Whenever you get the chance. I probably won't get the chance because I'm running super behind. Holy shit. I don't know what Emac did, but we're going to need a miracle here. Oh, it's starting to hurt a battle. Oh, yeah. The outline is taking a long time. I got to get it done. Time is up, machine's down, no more ink. Icy claim. It was rough for a minute, I'll tell you. Mac attack down to the <laughs> wire. Wire, dude. Down Literal the seconds. Minute. Yeah. <laughs> Today, you had to execute flawless fundamentals. Tattooing a compass rose. Emac. It's pretty simple. You can tell what's going on. And you've got a really doubled up thick outline here. Some of them look solid and clean. Some of them do not. A lot of inconsistencies. If you're going to make thick lines, they should all be the same thickness. You don't have the same thickness. OK. It definitely seems unfinished. Just take a light pale yellow and try to color a big area with it. Just not the best choice to stand alone against a thin outline. And obviously, the center of the four-pointed star has a cock to it. Today, you're being tested on the fundamentals. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. All across the board, all three of these tattoos have shortcomings. Where I've really failed is because I was too worried about staying inside the box. And I've spent my entire life not worrying what kind of box I should fit in. You're shackled because you're not expressing yourself the way you would if you were home. You have to release. If you get punched when you're rigid, you're probably getting knocked out. All right, judges, it is time to determine who is going home. In Emacs tattoo, there's areas where your lines don't connect. There's areas that are not showing me that you put the color in solid. I'm going to go with Emac. The judges have decided, Emac, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Artists, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo an American traditional fairy, and your time starts now. All right, here we go, brother. Let's go. My body's going this way, and, and then suddenly the legs turn us weird. You know? Take a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. Sure you put on the right way. Just trying to hit the channel. That's all. Mike's drawing. It's oh, up. Yeah? It's like a pinup in a blender. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> It's always the end that hurts the worst. I know. My canvas of skin is starting to welt up. You got like little top layers of skin just kind of peeling off. If you're from the South, welt would be when your mama busts your ass with a hickory. This is becoming a nightmare for me. Today, the South and the East had to face off against each other, tattooing an American traditional fairy. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Money Mike. Anatomically, this thing is very, very strange. 
Arms don't grow from here. It's kind of weird what's exactly going on with the anatomy. She's twisting up a little bit. Your outlines, we can see the drag lines of each needle as opposed to being one solid line. Also, the application of that green, not very smooth. You went over a little bit too much. That's why you're getting that rough texture. Patrick. The illustration, I like it. The anatomy of the girl looks nice. Sitting on the moon looks nice. But it does get rough in a lot of areas. The lines in the hair look rough. The line by her neck is really, really beat. A lot of problems here with trauma with the skin. I, I'll be honest, man, I've never had an issue like this before. It just was not as good skin as I thought it was going to be. We're talking about skin is the issue. It's not always the skin that's the issue. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. I would say that my bottom picks all live in the south. You know, we went for traditional because it shows fundamentals. Patrick's tattoo, it's beat. It's just so overworked. I will, I will disagree with it being overworked. Go ahead. There's trauma areas, but I don't, I don't think the whole tattoo's overworked. There's way less damage in Mike's, but it's fundamentally flawed at the design table. Drawing for drawing, I'd rather have Patrick's the girl on the moon. It's just too beat, man. Regrettably, Patrick. The judges have decided Patrick, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. I appreciate it. I love you, brother. Artists, you have six hours to create a schematic tattoo. And your time starts now. Let's do this. All right, so I'm going to have you stand right here. OK. I think I just noticed it's facing the wrong way. The blade should be on this side. If we flip it, then it's not true to the knife. Yeah, it is. I don't know about that. I know about that. <laughs> no, I know you do, but I'm saying, like, there's also rules to what we do. Yeah, but my left arm is right. this way. <laughs> I could just flip it around. Yeah. It's your tattoo. It's permanent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just flip it. Just give me like two minutes. Yep. All I wanted to do with this tattoo is show off my line work, and it is going the polar opposite way. All of those tiny lines. Yeah, a lot of detail there. I can feel how soft this guy's skin is and how easy it will be to blow these lines out. My only option is to try to pull this off. This day sucks. With the redness and the swelling, I'll use witch hazel. It helps. Nice. My canvas has skin tags and moles all throughout his forearm. So my lines aren't as straight as they usually are. Today, you are being tested on legibility with schematic tattoos. Jordan. There isn't a single part of the tattoo that isn't challenged with an outline. If we just look at the bottom motorcycle, a lot of trouble getting those smooth, clean, round circles. And you just miss that connection completely. Your line work has so many inconsistencies here. It is a problem. Arlene. You've had a lot of problems with the line work here. The edge of the knife, that line work jumps around like crazy. Then you have the seven inch, that line is out of control. His skin was really difficult to deal with. There's a way to put tattoos in all kinds of skin, and you didn't get it on this tattoo. Today, you are being tested on legibility. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Jordan and Arlene's tattoo are more legible, but Jordan's tattoo, I mean, that front wheel is the most up thing here. Come on, Jordan. I don't know what else to say. I really messed up for line work day, and line work is what I'm really well known for. It just reads as a schematic. For an outline, this quality of tattooing at this stage is very tough to handle. I would rather have the knife. Every line still has a problem. You tried to save the outline of the blade by putting shading next to it, but the line is still really shaky, and the black is not solid up to it. I had difficult skin to deal with. You put a straight line over a skin tag, it's going to wobble. I do have to say something. There's an issue that wasn't brought up about the knife. The handle's actually upside down. It's that, not. That guard there where your finger goes goes under the knife, so that way you don't cut your hand. Mm -hmm. That's true. You're showing an improper layout. My canvas decided to flip the direction of the knife at the last minute because he wanted the wording to read facing outward as it should be, not upside down, which means the handle is the other way. You should have turned the handle the other way. I gave him what he wanted. It's incorrect. It's bullshit. Just the consistency in numerals, consistency in application. My vote's for Arlene. The judges have decided, Arlene, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Keep your head up and be proud. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay.
Sergio. This week, you are being tested on consistency. Oh, man. Consistency in tattooing is making sure that throughout your whole tattoo, nothing is irregular. Nobody wants a wonky tattoo. Consistency is key. And there is no better test of consistency than collaborating with other artists to create oh, a series of tattoos. A series? Each artist on your team must create one tattoo. And every member of your team must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> all of us? All four at once? It would definitely be uniform if they all had tornadoes in them. We can do three different phases of it, like comic strip type. Yeah, like comic strip, maybe like there's three boxes. Yeah, I'm cool with the comic strip idea. I like I like it being boxed in like that. You doing the box around yours? No, took it out. So I don't know if you want to take it out or leave it on. Mm, I designed mine with a box. So then keep the box in. I don't think it makes a difference because we all have the same elements. Man, what the f Jordy and Jason scrapped the whole square idea and just enlarged the piece. But for me to change designs now may be a setback for me. So I'm sticking to the original plan. Hopefully that don't sink me. Should I bring this angle in? Let's see. No, because if you get down, it's straight. All right, we're we'll clear. Yours have a similar feel, only like, you know, his is in color. Yeah, and then it's like same with them, but it's like, nah. Yeah. All of the other team's approach to this looks way more consistent than ours. Their tattoos actually look like they're in a series. Ours, not so much. It looks like we have five different tattoos by five different people with five different ideas. Kind of fun tattooing this close because I get to see how you guys tattoo. I know, right? Y'all seen everybody else's? Everybody else did the same thing and threw the element in it. Ours is the only one that actually connects. We're doing three different versions of the tornado. Money Mike's is going to be from a distance. My tattoo is going to be right before the impact. Jason is going to be the impact tearing up the house. Of all the groups, ours has the most consistency with a story. They don't like this piece. I don't know what to tell them. In Louisiana, man, we get hurricanes. We don't get tornadoes. Never seen one, never tattooed one. So it's all around new experience for me. Mine is simple, yet effective. Yep. We just trying to get to it, make sure we get this safety, make sure nobody in Team South gets eliminated. Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating multiple tattoos on the same canvas as a team. <sighs> South, you tattooed wind, Money Mike. What's going on, fella? It's just a straight square picture. It's not the most creative move. You gave yourself a challenge just by giving that square, because the perfect square you do not have. You have a lot of application problems. You can see the brush strokes coming through. If you're doing a lot of this, it's never going to be as black as what it comes out of the bottle. Midwest, you tattooed water. You're up next, Jake. Cute little crap drawing bold outline, but the water on this thing is a bummer. You know, water can't just wiggle in whatever way it wants to, and it has a flow to it. Who had the worst tattoo of the day? Jake's is the one that sticks out like a sore thumb just based on drawing. Let me just take another stab where I can focus on my tattoos. Put me back in the shop. Well, it misses the look of water artistically, but then technically, if we look at Money Mike's tattoo, look at the line work anywhere on Mike's. Look at the solid black anywhere on Mike's. It's not smooth or not even or not solid. With another shot, I can show you what I'm made of. If you look at that, you're like, that's wind. Can you look at the other one and say that's water? And the other one is not water. It's just not what it needs to be. And that's the problem. You took a chance, and this competition, you never know what's coming. The judges have decided, Money Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Money Mike signing out, baby. <laughs> oh, man. That ain't true. Down the this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo an illustrative insect, and your time starts now. I don't like Jake's. The right. crown is a, is a gray, yeah. new school. You have to have dimension on an insect, and it has to be vibrant. How long have you been tattooing? This upcoming August will be 14 years. Wow. Barely made it through the first elimination, so the stakes are much higher now. I need to put everything that I have, every trick that I know, into this tattoo. Today, the Midwest and the South had to face off against each other, and you were being tested on consistency. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Jake. 
It's got a cool motion to it. It's got a cool anatomy. I love what you did with the wings, that really bright blue highlight to skin. But the sore thumb in this tattoo is the crown. Your outline gets a little wavery on the crown. Your black shading gets a little rough. It looks out of place with the rest of the tattoo. I understand what you're saying, but I didn't necessarily want it to be a focal point. I like your drawing. I like it a lot better than yesterday's drawing, for sure. Yeah. Jordy. I like this image. I like the drawing. The color palette is very rich and bright, but I wish that there was open skin in this tattoo. It's very rare that you'll hear me say it's too solid, it's too much, but it's really, really packed. It could definitely use a couple of breaks where you just let this thing breathe a little bit. It would really go a long way for you. You guys asked me to step up to the plate, and I designed something really cool. Jordy still has inconsistencies of getting that color where it needed to be. It's tricky. Jordy overly produced, but what is wall to wall is solid. Juxtapose that to Jake's, you see a lot of wavering moments. If you match those reds to Jordy's reds, Jordy gets them. I need a final decision. Jake to go home. The judges have decided, Jake, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo neon lights. Lights. So you know how hard that is. A neon light tattoo is showing the illusion of a glow on somebody's skin. So the only way you can make the illusion is having a heavy amount of black and a very light source of color. Good luck. You want a realistic warrior, right? Yes. With your dragon, all that stuff? That's like a two or three session tattoo. So we need to compromise. I got the hardest ask in the room. I don't like a lot of the Japanese armor. Mm -hmm. I don't like the whiskers on okay. those sorts of things. My canvas is putting all these parameters on my dragon now. I mean, what the f is this online dating? You can't be that specific. I'm, I don't want orange and I don't want yellow. When I make it through this, I'm not going to forget this, Midwest. I thought I picked a somewhat easy one, but I put way too many bulbs on it. I'm trying to put in all of these light sources, all of these dimensions, and I don't love what's happening. Surviving somehow. My eyes are just going crazy. I'm gonna take a break. I am not a color artist, and I had to pull off color in the craziest way today. The farther I get in my tattoo, the more worried I get. Are you worried? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be. In a team aspect, you're going to gravitate to the person in the team that is right there with you. That is Jordan for me. What are you worried about? Just all the shit going on in it. And where to put all the reflections in This is definitely a tough challenge. Like, there's nothing easy about this one. Jordan has always been there with me mentally. We push each other, so I'm kind of worried. I don't want to see Jordan in the bottom at all. Got me worried. Today, you were being tested on contrast with neon light tattoos. Let's see how you did. Raul. You get a neon glow look, but I don't think it looks like a helmet. It looks like two separate thoughts that are cut and pasted over top of each other. The sword kind of stops with these weird lines right here and what's going on. It's just not a smooth fade. It's just not one cohesive design. That was a tough one. Jordy. I'm not a fan of the way this pink glow fades into the, all the other colors around the outside of it. It's just muck. The Kraken itself, not a lot of detail. We're looking for contrast, man. Make the Kraken stand out. This thing is a mess. How are you feeling? Not good. Jordan. The drawing on this is really challenged. The perspective on the drawing and then the size of the bulbs make the bat not a bat. A bat is this long. You have to capture that somehow. The red lights, you've got murky shading that makes it look brown, doesn't look bright, doesn't look vibrant. I liked it, Jordan. Could be worse. Today, you were being tested on contrast. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Angel, why did the jury of peers vote Jordy to the bottom? We dislike the drawing, we dislike the application, and we didn't think that there was a whole lot of contrast in it. Man, it, it sucks being voted down. I do think I hit the challenge with the neon. Your illustration has a look that looks like neon, but as far as the application, that attempt to show this underwater view, it just didn't pan out. But I didn't really think I had the worst tattoo of the day. I feel like Raul's didn't hit the challenge. I keep getting targeted with these crazy asks. I, I don't know whether to take it as an insult or a compliment. The helmet, it's like three times bigger than her head. But is it a helmet? 
That's the whole thing. Everything's debatable on to what it is. I mean, I think I clearly show contrast. I think that I hit contrast. I decided to design this really simple, and I know now that that was a mistake. Are you going to look at that bat and know that's a bat right out of the box? I think it's an illustration of a bat. It looks like a glass. It looks like a pin. It looks like anything but a baseball bat. It doesn't look like a bat, but application, for me, Jordan, is safe. It is not good shading. That is not good brown color from off the black shading. Seeing the three of these things together, the one that has the least amount of contrast to me is Jordan. I dislike that cracking immensely. But to, to pick a baseball bat that's not a baseball bat is equally. I got weird with it. Bad decision, I know. It's hard. It, my vote's for Jordan. The judges have decided, Jordan. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. All right, artists, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo an American traditional tiger head. And your time starts now. This is the second time now that the Midwest has catered a challenge towards Jimmy. I don't think that I can out-tattoo Jimmy in his own style, but luckily, I just have to out-tattoo Raul. So you think Raul's gonna win? Who's gonna go home, me or Jimmy? I don't know. We'll see how you do. You always trip at the end. I trip at the end? Yes. I do not trip at the end. Jason does not know how to whip shade. No. Not at all. Not at all. I didn't think about it before. Oh, I did. You know, there's things that are not where you would think they would be with how technically sound he is. Three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yeah, that thing looks great. It's a pretty sexy tattoo. Today, you faced off in a battle for survival. You were being tested on adaptability. Raul, Jason, and Jimmy, based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Raul, we will start with you. Real simple, real bold. You hit the mark on traditional style look. You'd have a strong, simple color palette, nice, saturated black, and then you have areas of black whip shade in the nose, black whip shade in the lip. That's the kind of whip shade that we're looking for. Wow. But the third eye is strange. Your drawing has this really wide gap, and then your circles on those eyes, you kind of lose it, especially on the left one. And I do wish that the brown of the tiger wasn't in his teeth. That's very bizarre. I'm not so familiar with all of the rules. That was just an, an aesthetic decision I made. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but this is the most legible thing you've shown us. Yeah, I figured that was coming. But any compliments from you guys, I'll take that all day. Next up is Jimmy. What I love about this tattoo is the black. It reads very graphic, and it really stands out on this person's skin. I like how stark and how open it is, how much open skin you rely on to really capture the look of this thing. It was stressful and trying not to overthink it, and also knowing that these guys are going to bust their asses to compete with what I do. I love the confidence in this tattoo. You see that whip shade that's right off the red lip and the one that's right off the chin? That's the look. It's just solid black and then very consistent, very strong, very rich. I mean, it looks so perfect. Thank you. Yes, it was good. Yeah. Next up is Jason. I like the illustration. It really has that vintage look to it. For me, I wish you would have whipped out your color to the edge, that brown. I wish that was just kind of fanned out a little bit. There's nowhere where you fade from brown to skin. It's just filled in, and it just looks patchy. And then there's very little whip shading at all in the tattoo. And I'm just a little confused about those lines, that shading style. What is that? Well, like, I whipped it out, and they kind of, like, accentuate the whips a little bit. It's a stylized thing. I just I like that it didn't look like all the same thing, you know? That, for me, is a little bit of a question mark, especially because we're looking at American tradition. And I would think that would be something that would be important. OK, judges, it is time to determine who is going home. It's a tough one, man. Three good tattoos. Going by the textbook, instantly, Jimmy's out of the running to go home. Jimmy's is the most well-applied. So Jimmy's safe. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> so it comes down between Raul and Jason. But I have to say, design-wise, Jason does a better illustration. I go to Raul's, that eye, man, I can't get past that thing. My vote's for Raul. The three eyes, for me, are strange. I like Jason's drawing better, but whip shading is the foundation of traditional. 
Raul even just with that bit of whip in the nose is why you're here. Today, it's gonna be Jason. The judges have decided, Jason, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You've done really strong tattoos in this competition, and this is definitely a curveball. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Please pack your machines and close shop. I don't feel like that I did a bad tattoo today. My biggest downfall is myself. I like doing weird, abstract, out-of-the-box stuff, but probably better to fly under the radar. Jason. Hey, bud. Hey, what's up, man? Let's have a talk. Yeah. I know you struggle with shit. I know you struggle with the rules, where you're kind of putting your own shit and everything, which is cool. But if you want to be back in this game and you want to do things to get to the finale, I would pardon you right now. Really? If you want that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, dude, I want to ride to the end. Absolutely, then get man. upstairs, brother. Off oh, shift. Unpack. As of now, you are officially pardoned. Hey, thanks, man. Really? Don't let me down, brother. I'm not. Woo! Oh, those guys are about to really hate me now. Artists, you have six hours to create a new school food tattoo. And your time begins now. Cool, let's do this. Come around this way. You wanted beignet? Yeah. All right. With um, powdered oh, yes. sugar? OK. I'm worried about Kay and Jessa. Chicken and waffles. This is like one of my favorite foods. Oh, um, perfect. Both of the images are brown. There's not a lot of room for color play there. So this is a color challenge. Are you into me incorporating like a second flower with it? It's the curse of the golden skull. You get skull picks, and you f it all up. How do I make it more weird, Jimmy? But you got to make it exaggerated somehow. The cup of coffee should be cartoony. I learned how to draw a coffee mug so it looks like a coffee mug, and now I've got to like bend it all over the place. And whenever I try to distort it, it just looks wrong. Like, not cool, just bad. I feel like the more I draw this cup, the less I like it. Make it like shorter and fatter. OK, so I should just redraw the whole thing. Don't, don't redraw the whole thing. All right. Don't stress out. It's just frustrating. So, so they sick drawing. Oh, wow, um, so cute. Super bright colors. Yeah. Um, I actually don't like coffee. Okay. So could you yeah. change it into like a jar of jam? Let me think about that. So my canvas is like, I don't like coffee. Can you change that to a jar of jam? <laughs> what? Just right now? Yeah. New School is like the antithesis of what my natural style is. And I'm trying not to panic, but I'm just kind of losing it. I'm stressed out. For the love of God. Everybody's already started tattooing. I can't sit here for six hours and draw and redraw this. Like, I've got to get started. All right, ladies. All right. This is what we get for ya. Oh, my God. A little jam jar That's in there. That's so cute. I know that I'm not going to hit New School but I don't know how to do it any better, so I better slay color theory. I have a big family, and we do, like, big Sunday dinners. So there's always, like, so much food. I think if I had to get a food tattoo, I would get some sort of pasta. My tattoo was the chicken and waffles, but I've changed it to waffles and ice cream. At least I've got some color in there to make it pop. You could use some sort of globe, just like a lighter pink. No matter what, this waffle is going to look really flat because it's almost the same color as her tan. And that sucks, dude. I didn't just leave my family and leave my shop to come here and get eliminated because I got given a waffle. You drew that? Yeah. You're a cartoonist, aren't you? Yeah, I used to do graffiti. There's no way I would have had these lines as crispy as this on the ribs. Grays are in there good. I got to make sure I do a dope ass tattoo. Five, four. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Let's take a fork on it. We're done. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think he struggled the most. You can tell that they've never drawn anything cartoony. Oh. Jess says it's just applied bad, and it's kind of drawn bad. Kay's is not new school. It basically looks like a K tattoo that she threw two extra colors in. I'm super happy with how bright it is and how clean it yeah, is. Yeah, it's like half in the color. They're so far off from new school. Today, you had to show color theory with a new school food tattoo. 
Let's see how you did. Jordy. Your pig is so legible. Then your eye goes lower, and there's so much darkness and contrast issues, and it's very difficult to figure out what this pig is hanging over. Then off to the side of this smoke that's billowing off of it, you have this other feature. It's supposed to be the top of the grill. I don't know that it's ribs. I don't know that it's a grill. It's just like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, bro. Yeah. Jessa. As far as color theory here goes, there's no pop in this. It's flat, it's boring. The transition of magenta to pink, it looks like sidewalk chalk. For what it is, it should be blasted with color. And these colors really just play into your canvas's skin tone. You can do color palettes that are not the real color palette of the real thing. Damn. OK. What did you do in this that you thought was new school? Exaggerating the shape of the top flower and the shape of the jam jar. I don't think you made an outrageous shape of anything. It looks like a painterly life study. Today, you are being tested on color theory. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Jimmy, why did the jury appears vote Jordy to the bottom? We felt like Jordy's was definitely the most illegible. As far as color theory goes, it's kind of out of the window. Kind of obvious I was going to get picked. One third of the jury appears down here with me. I look at Jordy's tattoo, I see a pig. I don't know what I see underneath it, but I see a pig. I look at Kay's tattoo, it's obviously some kind of pastry. But I'm having the, the hardest time reading Jess's tattoo. Oh, shit. But out of the three, hers is the most new schooly. Jordy's, man. When you have a tattoo that's not a cover up, that looks like a cover up, that's one of the big killers. My vote's for Jordy because I dislike all three of these equally, I will bring it to which one I would least like to eat. And for that, Jordy, I don't know what's in that pot. So my vote is for Jordy. The judges have decided, Jordy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I appreciate the opportunity. I definitely learned a lot. Please pack your machines and close shop.